Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video will be about the toString method in Java. What's the toString method? The toString method is used to return the string representation of an object. Now, let's create a class called instruments. Instruments, because I want to create an object that represents different types of instruments. Okay, and let's say this instrument has a name and what else should instrument have? Let's just do a name. String name. Now let's create the constructor of the class. So let's say public instruments and it takes in a name and we'll set this name equals to that name. And don't forget to specify the type of your parameter, so it's a string. Okay, great, so now we can easily create instruments. So now I'm gonna create another, another class, I'll call it, I don't know, Sim, Symphony. Let's do the Symphony and have a main method. Cool, now I have a symphony class and let me create a type of instrument. So I can say instruments, you know what, I'm going to change this to instrument, not instruments. So I'll just do that. Okay, cool, now it's just instrument. So I can say instrument guitar equals new instrument and then Uh, now I've created a new guitar. Let's create another one. Call this piano. And same thing here. Cool. So now let's go ahead and print these out. Let's just see what happens here. Print line. Guitar. And let's also do the same thing for the piano. Cool. Save it and run. And I get this weird stuff here, down here. What is all this stuff? That's not what I want. And the reason why it's doing this is because Java is printing out the reference to guitar and piano. So the, this is the hash code value of the memory location. And that's not really what we want. So every object in Java has a toString method, but the default is to return this stuff here. So what you can do is you can override that method in your class. So we can write our own toString method. And this way we can customize what we want to return when we have this system out print line invoked. And it's very easy to do this. All you have to do is, in your method, return a string and call it toString. And here, in your curly brace, you specify what you want to return. So let's just say return name. Quick and simple. Now if I run this again, I get guitar and I get piano. I can basically return whatever I want here. I can say I, I am A plus the name. So if I run this again, it says I'm a guitar, I'm a piano, and you can do whatever you want. And that's basically it. You just need these three lines here to make it work. Hopefully this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and support me so I can keep making more videos. And hope you have a great day.